So if you bought an M2 or M2 Pro Mac Mini, but now you're drawn towards that shiny, newly redesigned M4 or M4 Pro Mac Mini, the biggest thing with the new Mac Mini is, of course, the redesign. It's over two inches smaller in both width and depth and a half inch smaller in height compared to the previous model. So now let's get this quote unquote controversial part out of the way. The power button is now on the bottom of the machine. And I understand just saying that out loud sounds absurd. The new M4 and M4 Pro come standard with it at least 16 gigabytes of RAM compared to the early entry level model of the M2 that started with eight gigs. You now have a 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU, while the M4 Pro comes with the options of 12 or 14 cores for CPU and 16 or 20 for the GPU. The M4 and M4 Pro chips offer substantial advancements. With higher clock speeds, more efficient core architecture and memory bandwidth improvements, the new chips also introduce hardware accelerated ray tracing, support for AV1 decoding, and an updated GPU architecture, which are particularly beneficial for users in graphic design, video editing, or other GPU intensive tasks. These upgrades make the Mac Mini more competitive than ever, even nearing the capabilities of the Mac Studio for many professional workflows. However, the M2 Pro users who already have a higher spec configuration, you might not find the jump to the latest model as essential, especially if your needs are already being met by your current machine's power and capabilities. It might be worth waiting for an even more transformative update later down the line. 